How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get hit detection in your Minecraft realm or world. It's very simple and easy to do and if this video does help you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for 12,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I recently just hit that so thank you guys so much. But yeah, let me show you guys exactly how hit detection is going to work in your Minecraft realm or world. So as you can see on my head, I do have a diamond helmet. You could do a leather, you could do netherite, you could do whatever kind of helmet you want to do or any piece of armor. But I'm going to give myself a skeleton egg really quick. So I'm going to spawn a skeleton. Oh, wait, it's going to be dead. All right, so I changed the time of day tonight so that the skeleton won't burn. But if I change my game mode to survival, as you can see, I will get hit by this skeleton. And every time I get hit, it says on the bottom of my screen, you've been hit. And you guys will hear that my diamond helmet will break because that's what happens every time I get hit. It breaks instantly. And once I get hit like this again, it will say you have been hit. And you can customize what this message says. So you can say you've been tagged, you've been hit, whatever you want it to be. You can even do it for when people play tag and hit each other like that. But yeah, let me show you guys how to make hit detection for Minecraft from our world. So the first thing you want to do is give yourself a command block. So do slash give your name, command underscore block, and you'll receive one in your inventory. Next, you want to place down your command block. So one of them will be by itself just alone, and the other one will be with two command blocks. And make sure that the arrows are facing the same way where there is two command blocks. Because if it's not facing the the same way and one of them is facing upwards like that and it's not the right way then it will not work so again make sure that your arrows are facing the exact same way and the two command block one but this first command block is going to be a repeat unconditional always active and this command is slash execute as at a bracket tag equals as commission mark hit and bracket run tag at s add hit and what this command block is doing is that it's going to execute and check if you have the tag of hit and if you don't have it then it'll give you the tag of hit but yeah it's pretty simple if you don't have the tag it'll give you the tag this next command block is going to be a repeat unconditional always active and it's slash execute as at a bracket tag equals hit and bracket at at s unless entity at s bracket has item equals wavy brackets item equals diamond underscore helmet comma location equals slot dot armor dot head comma data equals 1000 and wavy bracket and bracket run slash title at s action bar you've been hit now what this command block is doing is that it's going to check if you have the tag of hit and when you do it's going to check if you have a diamond helmet with the data tag of 1000 in your slot armor head, which is your head. And if you don't have that helmet on your head, it's going to run the slash title command and say that you've been hit. And also after this action bar, you could customize this message to whatever you want. So for me, I have this sauce symbol and sauce C makes the color red. You can also change the color to yellow if you want or to purple or to blue. And instead of saying you've been hit, you could change this to whatever you want. Like you've been hurt or something. So I'm going to do hurt so you guys can see that it still works when I update it. But yeah, that is the second command. And now this command, this last one is a chain unconditional always active and it's slash execute as at a bracket tag equals hit and bracket at at s unless entity at s bracket has item equals wavy bracket item equals diamond underscore helmet comma location equals slot dot armor dot head comma data equals 1000 and wavy bracket and bracket run slash replace item entity at s slot dot armor dot head zero diamond underscore helmet one a thousand and what this is doing is that it's going to check if you have the tag of hit and if you don't have the diamond helmet in your head with the data tag of a thousand it's going to run the replace item command and it's going to put a new diamond helmet on your head that has the data tag of a thousand and yeah that's pretty much it also if it says your previous output is execute sub command unless entity test failed and the reason why it says an error with those commands is because it's detecting no players who don't have a helmet but as you can see i'm going to change the game mode back to survival I'm also going to change the time of day to nighttime. And when I summon a skeleton and it hits me, my helmet will break and it'll say you've been hurt in blue now. So yeah, every time I get hit, it'll say you've been hurt. My helmet will break and it'll also respond me with a new one, as you can see. So that's pretty much what the command does. It responds you with a new helmet, which is really cool. And it lets you know that you've been hit. But yeah, that is a video. And if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, all the commands are down in the description below. So you guys can just copy and paste them if you're on PC. And lastly, before you guys go, YouTube is recommending this video to you guys. So you guys should definitely go check it out. It's a video from my channel but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my name is gabe and i'm out peace